So I know I've done similar to this one a long time ago, but today I'm really hungry and this catch and cook is absolutely delicious. I know it's kind of strange, as you'll see in a few minutes, but as Caecilius would say, perhaps, who am I to judge? Let's go get them. There's one. First one of the day. Big old apple snail. All right, baby. Got myself 10 beautiful apple snails fighting through the spiders to get them. Making the teepee. Yeah, girl. And add the logs. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do to clean these guys is smash the shell. They have a lot of guts in there, as you can see. What we're looking for is this meaty piece, this muscle, right above the foot of the snail. And that's it right there, that, that uh, tannish muscle there. And all you gotta do is separate it from the foot there, and there you go, you got it. Little piece of meat, little scallop, little morsel right there. So there's my humble dinner, the mussels of 10 apple snails. Cooking spray and my snails. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna let it cook down a little bit, then I'm gonna put the grate over it, and then start to cook the snails. These will probably be cooked in just a few minutes here. Look at this craziness. An ash-covered toad just jumped out of the fire. Man, it is so hot out. I'm pouring sweat. Anyway, bon appetit. A little bit chewy, but savory like a steak and with a flavor of like a sushi type thing as well. Kind of like a sushi steak, if there's any such like American abomination as that. <laughs> Um, delicious though, just as good as last time. One of the best meats I've ever had. And I've hunted and fished and acquired a lot of different meats in my years. This is just delicious.